Gabriel Brownlow Dindy is originally from Louisiana, but now lives in Lakeland, Florida. When Gabriel was six, he went through MMA training, which he credits for improving his hand-eye coordination. Another interesting fact is he is the son of a preacher and hopes to be involved with the church down the line. When he was young, he had to get pulled out of flag football due to being too big, and he played up most of his youth career and mainly played on the offensive side of the ball until ninth grade. Gabriel attended Lakeland High School, where as a freshman, he saw spot action for the Dreadnoughts 2018 state championship winning team. His breakout season would come his sophomore year, when he had 29.5 tackles for a loss and 11.5 sacks, which led to him becoming one of the top prospects in his recruiting class and helped his team go on a deep playoff run, ending the season 12-1. As a junior, Gabriel led the Dreadnoughts with 18 tackles for a loss, 7 sacks, and 18 quarterback hurries. That following spring, he won the state championship for Discus. Gabriel's senior year did not go the way he wanted. He had a team-high four sacks, seven tackles for a loss, and 11 quarterback hurries through the first four games of the season, but would injure a tendon in his hand and hurt his hamstring. Originally, he was more concerned about his hamstring, but his hand required surgery that cost him three months of the season. Throughout his high school career, he earned numerous awards and finished his career playing in the Under Armour All-American game. Hey you, yeah, you. Do you think Gabriel Brownlow Dindy will be a star at Texas A&M? Let me know in the comment section below. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it because it really helps the video in the algorithm. As of now, according to 24-7 Sports Composite, Gabriel Brownlow Dindy is a 5-star recruit who's the 2nd best player in Florida, 3rd best defensive lineman, and 16th best player in the class of 2022. He received over 23 different Division I offers, likes of Clemson, Florida, Ohio State, Oklahoma, and Texas A&M. Originally, Gabriel committed to Oklahoma because they made him feel like family since the day they began recruiting him. He talked to former Sooners head coach Lincoln Riley every week throughout the recruiting process. Oklahoma and Texas A&M were even throughout the process, but Gabriel telling the ledger, I thought highly of both schools and the relationships I built. I set the decision two weeks ago knowing I hadn't made a decision yet. I need to make the decision myself. Although both his parents were Oklahoma grads, they really didn't push him to the Sooners. They let him come to the decision himself. The way Gabriel carried himself throughout the process impressed his father, Terrence Sr., who told the media he's handled this spectacularly. He's very mature for his age and humble. He's very appreciative of the time people put into him. Then, Lincoln Riley would leave Oklahoma to take the USC job. This rubbed Gabriel the wrong way, with him telling On3, I was pretty surprised about what happened. It was his decision. I just don't like how he left because he kind of left a whole bunch of 17-year-olds and 18-year-olds to fend for themselves after the pitch that he made and all that type of stuff. He has a whole bunch of players scrambling around trying to find other schools and not knowing what's going to happen for the future of Oklahoma is crazy. With Alex Grinch leaving Oklahoma to take the same job at USC with Riley, it left Gabriel confused what he was going to do. He didn't want to rush any decision and really wanted to watch how things played out the following week. In the end, Runlow Dindy decided to flip his commitment to Texas A&M, which was an extremely tough decision for him and a decision that did not sit well with some fans. Gabriel told On3, the OU fans and Texas A&M fans were both behind me and really liked me. When I picked Oklahoma over Texas A&M, Texas A&M fans were like, yeah, he's just going where he wants to go. They weren't really salty about it. But when I flipped, that was a whole different story. I had hate all over the place. People were sending me death threats and all that. I really didn't care about it, but it was a little bit too much. He turned off all his social media notifications and tried to guard his parents from reading the backlash. He planned to stay, but when Calvin Thibodeau departed for SMU, he felt he needed to rethink his decision. He made the decision because he just didn't have a connection with the new coaching staff, with so many new faces and early signing period quickly approaching. Remember, Oklahoma and Texas A&M were tied up until the end, with Gabriel explaining, I knew it was going to be the best for me to go to Texas A&M. Oklahoma was my dream school growing up. I wanted to go to Oklahoma. The things that happened, I couldn't really help. I just didn't think I'd fit. I know it's supposed to be about the program. I'm not bashing those coaches. They're great. I just didn't build the relationship with them. According to Andrew Ivins, Gabriel is projected to be a future first round pick in comparison to Ed Oliver. He officially signed with the Aggies during the early signing period and has since enrolled at Texas A&M. I'm very excited to see how Gabriel fits in at Texas A&M as Jimbo Fisher puts together a historic class. But what do you think? Will Gabriel Brunlow Dindy be a future star at Texas A&M? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, maybe check out my videos on fellow 5 star recruits Connor Wigman and Evan Stewart. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and as always, remember to embrace the grind.